Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So 360 degree virtual reality movies aren't quite mainstream yet. I mean, who wants to strap on a headset every time there's another disappointing Justice League movie? But at least 360 degree surround sound has long been a mainstay of not just movie theaters, but home theaters as well, where a typical setup will be a subwoofer or two for bass, and five or seven speakers surrounding the viewer to help the sound, well, surround the viewer. Now traditionally, the way this has worked is that depending on the surround audio encoding scheme used by the publisher, a device called a receiver would decode and play back discrete audio tracks for each speaker that would correspond to the action on the screen, assuming a high quality mix. So the idea is that if you're looking at a scene featuring a conversation, the voices will probably be coming mostly out of the center channel, while the satellite speakers behind you focus on, let's say, ambient background noise. This one track for one speaker paradigm has been powering surround sound systems for a long time, and it's worked pretty well. But we've increasingly seen a different method of surround sound delivery both in theaters and on Blu-ray that's actually based around encoding sounds as objects instead of channels. The principle behind Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. But hold on a minute. Sounds as objects? Okay, so it means that instead of each audio track corresponding to only one speaker, the tracks are encoded with data that indicates some location in space, instead of a specific channel. So let's say you're watching a scene where a plane is flying overhead toward you. Instead of, for example, the tracks matched to the front speakers getting quieter and the tracks for the back speakers getting louder as the plane passes by, the plane's engines will instead be encoded as a spot in space above you that moves around in real time. Now this may not sound like too much of a difference, but the idea here is that Atmos and DTSX scale very well. Traditional surround setups had no way of knowing much more than distance from your couch about the physical placement of the speakers in your room, so results could be very inconsistent from setup to setup. But because Atmos and DTSX allow sounds to be coded with location data like above the listener, halfway between the screen and the chair, and against the right hand wall, rather than just right front speaker, a decoder compatible with these formats will then take this positional data and the specific speaker configuration into account to produce sound that's more accurately reflective of where it's supposed to be in space. Whether it has five speakers propped up on two by fours around your computer to represent this data, or 50 professional gray loudspeakers in a large cinema, and it even includes support for sounds above you, something traditional surround doesn't offer. Atmos supports up to 118 objects, and DTSX supports an unlimited number of objects, and both technologies can work with your conventional 5.1 and 7.1 speaker setups, with Atmos boasting support for up to 34 speakers for home theater. Now that might sound excessive, and it probably is, but more speakers will enhance the sense of space and realism you'll get. Now as for those of you who aren't the type to install speakers everywhere you can find an empty spot on your wall or ceiling, there are a number of upward firing speakers that reflect off of your ceiling to simulate a real speaker above you. And you can even upgrade your existing tower speakers just by plopping one designed to fire upward on top of them. We checked out a sound bar that uses this technique recently over on Linus Tech Tips, and the effect was fairly convincing. Of course, like with any new standard, not everything is Atmos or DTSX capable. You'll need a compatible receiver, though the good news is that most receivers support both, and some Atmos or DTSX encoded media. Fortunately, the technology is becoming more and more common on Blu-rays, streaming services, and even game consoles. So maybe at some point, we'll feature Atmos support right here on TechWookie and envelop you in the velvety tones of my voice coming at you from 118 different angles. No? No takers at all? All right. Well, anyway, speaking of velvet, do you want a velvety experience when you're building your next website? Well, check out Squarespace with 24-7 support via live chat and email. It's only $12 a month, and you get a free domain if you buy Squarespace for the year. It has a responsive design, and your website will scale to look great on any device. You also get Converse features in that every website comes with a free online store. There's also Cover Pages, a feature that allows you to set up a beautiful one-page online presence in minutes. And new is the Squarespace Analytics app. It's easy to use, but you also get the full range of traffic analytics you get on desktop. You can start a trial today with no credit card required and start building your website right now. And when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use the offer code TECHWIKI to get 10% off your first purchase. 
Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Leave a comment, give us your feedback, and give us your ideas for future videos. Check out our other channels, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future episodes.